Welcome to Drawing Structures in Two-Point Perspective. You'll need a straight edge, pencil, and a piece of paper. Start by drawing your horizon line. This is a line that goes horizontally from one side of your paper to the other. You'll be drawing your vanishing points on this line as well, one on the left and one on the right. This is where all of your lines are going to intersect and merge. We'll start by drawing an eye level structure, so you'll draw your front facing line on the horizon line. The front facing line is the corner of the structure that is the closest to you. We'll start by connecting the top of our line to both vanishing point 1 and 2. We'll then do the same thing for the bottom of the line. To give your structure walls, place your ruler on the front facing line and pull it towards vanishing point number 1. Determine the depth of the wall and draw a parallel line connecting your top and bottom of the structure. Do the same thing for the right side, pulling your ruler closer to vanishing point number two and draw a line connecting the top and bottom of your structure. To put a roof on your structure, determine which side you would like the peak of your roof to be on and draw an X on that side connecting the top and bottom corners. This X allows us to find the center of the wall. You can also measure the distance between the bottom two points and the top two points, find the center of each, and connect them. Draw a vertical line through the center of the front face of the wall and extend it upwards past your structure. To form the peak, you're going to take one of the top corners of your structure Determine how steep of a roof line you would like, and draw a line until you reach the vertical line. Do the same thing on the other side, connecting the peak. Place your ruler on the top of the peak that you've just formed and connect it to your vanishing point number two. To finish our roof, place your ruler on the slope and keeping your ruler parallel, drag it towards vanishing point number two until you've reached the end of your structure. That completes our structure at eye level. Now let's try drawing a structure from above. This is called worm's eye view, when you're looking up at the structure. We'll start by doing the same front facing line. This time our front facing line is above our horizon line. We're going to connect the top and bottom of this front facing line to vanishing points number 1 and 2 and draw the walls of your structure. Now let's draw the bottom of our structure. We need to connect the bottom of each wall to vanishing point number 1 and 2. We'll add a roof to this structure as well, the same way we did with our eye level structure. This time, when we go to connect the peak of our roof to vanishing point number one, you'll notice that the line crosses through our building. This is because you cannot see the bottom of a structure and the top of a structure at the same time. Because of this, you actually will not need to do that last step. Just create the peak and you are finished. Now let's create a structure looking down. This is called bird's eye view. For this, we'll draw our front facing line below the horizon line. Follow the steps as you did before, connecting your front facing line to your vanishing points and adding your walls. Now we'll be drawing the top of our structure. Because we can see the top of our structure, we'll be taking the top of each wall and connecting it to vanishing point number one and number two. You may have noticed a pattern by now that each of our corners is connecting to both vanishing point one and two. You can check every corner of the structure. They should connect to both. A few that do not, it's because our structure at this point is not translucent. You can see if we make sure they all connect, we now have a three-dimensional structure that looks as though it's see-through. We just need to add one more vertical line to ensure we have all of our corners of our walls. And if we do that, we then create a structure that looks as though it may be made of glass or some other translucent material. Let's add a roof line to this structure as well. 
and we'll do this the exact same way as we did with the eye level structure. The next step is adding windows, doors, and rounded openings. So we'll start by adding a window on this wall here. Because the window will be to the right of our front facing line, we'll be using the vanishing point to the right of our front facing line. So using vanishing point number two, I'll determine how high I want my window to sit. And I'll be using maybe the same line I have here for my horizon line for that. I'll then draw the bottom of the window opening. I'll then place my ruler on the front facing line and pull it towards where I want the window to begin, connecting those top and bottom lines. I'll do the same thing to create the back of the window. And you can see now that I have a rectangular window here in perspective. Now because I'm looking at this window from the right, I'll be able to see the thickness of the wall to the right side. So the back of the window would actually have a thickness showing through. So I'll put my ruler on the back of the window and draw a parallel line depending on how thick you want this wall to be. And that creates a little bit more depth. Let's create a door on this side. So I'm on the left side of my front facing line, which means I'll be using the vanishing point on the left, vanishing point number one. And I'll draw where I want the top of the door to be. The bottom of the door will be on the bottom of the structure. So again, I'm going to be drawing parallel lines to mark the sides of the door opening. Now for this one, the far wall is the one I'll be seeing the thickness of the wall on, so the left side of the doorway. So I'm going to create a little bit of thickness on the left hand side of this doorway. So putting your ruler parallel to that left side of the door, and there you go. Now to give this more dimension, I want to be able to see through this doorway now. So that far wall, I need to connect that to vanishing point number two so it looks as though it's sitting on the ground. Now let's try drawing a rounded opening on this structure up here. So I'm going to use the front of this structure, and I'll start the same way as I did with the window by drawing a square opening. Because this opening will be on the right of my front facing line, I'm again using the vanishing point to the right. And I'm going to put an X through this window, just like I did when I was creating my roof line. I'm also going to draw a horizontal line through this window opening as well. So putting my ruler parallel to the top, making sure I'm going through the X. And I now have a segmented opening. I want to make sure that my rounded edges are equal in each of these four sections. This takes practice. You might have to go over some of your lines a few times to make sure they're rounded and not pointed where the two sections meet. And because I'm looking up at this opening, I'll be able to see the thickness of the wall on the top and a little bit on the right hand side as well. So I'm going to mimic this shape by tracing over it a few times until my hand gets a feeling for it. And then when you go to draw that same line, it should be pretty closely replicated. And there you go, we have a rounded door opening or window opening. If you're creating a birdhouse and you need to add a post or a ledge, um, let's do that really quickly. So we'll find the center of the bottom of our structure by drawing an X from corner to corner. You'll then take the center of that X and you'll draw a line going straight down. This will represent the center of the post. You'll then draw a line on either side of that center line. And you'll place your ruler on the far left of your structure. And creating a parallel line, you'll pull it towards those lines you created for the post. Same thing on the front of the structure. Now if this doesn't look tall enough, you can always extend it a little bit. Um, so I might actually draw a couple more lines to extend it upwards. To draw a ledge or something that a bird would sit on, we're again going to use our vanishing point number one. And you can start by drawing a box or a rectangle. Um, I'm just going to eyeball this a little bit. So I'm going to draw two parallel lines. And I'm going to do semicircles on either end. 
and then create a circled edge to this so it's almost like a dowel is sticking out of this structure. The last step is how to draw stairs or a porch. I'm going to go through this a little bit quickly, but to draw a ledge or a porch coming off this structure, again I'm using vanishing point number two, and I'm just extending those bottom lines of my building. I'm then going to use vanishing point number one to create the ledge or the, the edge of this porch or stairway. Using parallel lines, I'm going to take the edge of that porch and draw two lines going down. Now you can draw this as far as you want, but I'm going to be doing maybe like two steps coming off of this porch. You're then going to take vanishing point number two and extend those lines out. And then again parallel lines coming down. And because this is going to be my last stair, I'm just going to connect the corners of each step. And then use vanishing point number one to actually create the bottom of this stairway where it would connect to the ground. And that is all. You're done.